Brian Harder here, technical agronomist with Sound Agriculture in Missouri, Illinois, and Wisconsin. In today's episode of Sound Advice, we're going to be talking about Liebig's Law of the Minimum, Mulder's Chart, and how Source can help on your acres. So stick around and see what we can learn about a new approach to fertility management on your farm. As we look at this graphic here that shows Liebig's Law of the Minimum, we can see that we have a barrel with different height of staves. And so when one stave is lower than another one, it's gonna let the liquid inside out. So in this instance, yield is the liquid that we're letting out. So when we have something that's limited, whether that be a micronutrient or a macronutrient, it's going to limit the potential of the crop. Even though we might have several other factors that are in excess or in our favor, not limiting yield, any limiting factor is gonna let our, let our yield out. Now that we just learned about Liebig's Law of the Minimum, let's move on to Mulder's chart. And keep in mind what we learned on Liebig's Law of the Minimum and how that affects crop yield and your potential at the end of the year. As we look at Mulder's chart here, we can see that we have arrows going in different directions with the nutrients on the outside. And so when we have an arrow going from one nutrient to the other, this shows us that when we have an excess of this nutrient, we're going to tie up the other nutrient, inducing a deficiency. So as we look at nitrogen and potassium, for instance, we can see that there's an arrow going from N to K. And so what that's telling us is when we over apply nitrogen and have an excess of it, we're going to limit the uptake that we have of potassium, therefore inducing a deficiency. So what does Mulder's chart have to do with Liebig's law? If we go back to the barrel, we might think that by increasing nitrogen and making that stave higher, we're actually increasing our potential. But actually the opposite is happening. By making the stave on the nitrogen higher, we're actually shortening the stave on the potassium. So what we're doing by creating that potassium deficiency is decreasing potential yield. So the takeaway here from Mulder's chart is that more is not always better. Because nutrients have complex relationships, more can sometimes mean your plant is getting limited elsewhere. Now let's talk solutions. Enter source, your soil's new best friend. Source is a nutrient use efficiency product that helps your plants access more nutrients by increasing microbial activity in our vascular mycorrhizae fungi populations in your soil. So when you use source, plants are getting nutrients from the natural environment rather than having to rely on synthetic fertilizers, which in return results in fewer nutrient deficiencies and a healthier natural balance of micronutrients and macronutrients in your soil that helps to increase your overall yield potential and decreases the risk of over-applying synthetic fertilizers. In summary, balancing nutrients and soils is extremely crucial for maximizing crop yield and mitigating risk. While Liebig's Law of the Minimum emphasizes the importance of maintaining a balanced nutrient profile in your soils, Mulder's chart demonstrates how nutrient interactions can lead to imbalances and deficiencies. That's a wrap for today's episode of Sound Advice. I hope you've enjoyed our deep dive into Liebig's Law of the Minimum, the Mulder's chart, and how source can fit on your farm. Stay tuned for more insights and tips from our agronomists. Until next time, happy farming.